Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I thought it'd be a good idea to make a video for you on how to properly install your air conditioner in your Airstream. I see a lot of people post on Airstream Addicts and on different forums that they take their Airstream to the dealership to have the air conditioner replaced because they're not sure they'd be able to do it themselves. But I want to let you guys know it's really pretty easy to do and you can save yourself a ton of money and time. So let's get started. power turned off because we're going to be dealing with some electrical and we don't want to mess anything up or kill ourselves. So we're going to start there and then we got to get this shroud off. Most of this stuff's just held up with screws. Let's get this nasty thing out of here. We need to get the electric disconnected. There should be power from the camper coming into this is basically a junction box where the power of, from the camper meets the power to the air conditioner. We just got to get those separated. Since we're not reusing the air conditioner, I'm just going to clip the wires loose. And separate it out. Now, will you need those wires for the new air conditioner? Just the existing camping wires, or camper wires. Most of these are the wires going to the air conditioner. There'll be some thermostat wires and um, wires that power the unit. All right, I'm gonna take this lower shroud off, or would be upper, I guess. Now, this air conditioner was working fine, but it was leaking down through the walls. And it is 40 years old, and you'll see when we get on the roof that it's pretty much a dinosaur. So I'm kind of always of the opinion that it's good to replace. So I know some people say you can keep these old air conditioners, that they work really well. And it did work really well, but obviously it was not a good thing that it was leaking. This is the power from the camper, and all of this is the power going to the air conditioner. I've already taken that loose. Now, up in here, we've got the old uh, drain line. This is how these old ones work. They drained into the inside, and this drain tube goes down through the walls and works its way out the bottom of the uh, airstream. But you're leaving yourselves a lot of room for things to go wrong with all that water flowing down behind your walls, as we can attest with this project. And the new air conditioner we're putting in, which I'll give you a little bit of a review on because we have used one of these before. It's a Dometic and it doesn't have a drip tube. It actually just drips on the outside of the camper. Okay, we've got all the wiring loose. We've got the drip line removed. And I'm not sure what's holding this in here. I can't see anything from this side. So let's take it top side and see what's holding it down. Well, before we can get too far up here, we need to get this shroud off so that we can see what's going on underneath. So let's get that done first. And also, I recommend not replacing your air conditioner when it's like 95 degrees out like it is here today. You know, if you can be somewhere in the shade or on a cooler day, you'll be smarter than we are. So you can see here, this is the old shroud. It's pretty big. You'll get a better idea when you look at the new one we put on about how much smaller in size it is. But yeah, and lighter. But this thing takes up quite a bit of space on the roof, and it's just not pretty to look at. We've got to get the top separated from the bottom. We've got rivets throughout here, so we're gonna to have to pop these rivets off. The best way to pop off rivets is to use an eight inch drill bit. Drill through the rivet in forward mode. And eventually it pops off. If you're wondering how I'm sitting up here, basically I can tell where the ribs are based on where all these rivets are. So I'm making sure to keep some pressure back here on my ladder and the other pressure of my other leg on a rib so that I'm not damaging the aluminum. There we go. Yard, 
see what we need to do next. Now, I think this is still bolted. Pretty sealed down with some old sealant of some kind. So we're gonna have to scrape all of this off so that we can detach the unit. devise one. Um, I think I'm going to fry it up out of position, put something to span across a couple of ribs, flip it onto a board that I have on the other side, and light it down. Disclaimer, my husband is a little bit of a MacGyver, so we are not necessarily doing this in the most amazing or perfect or best way even, but we have done this one other time, and like I said, we're just throwing it into the yard, so we're not terribly concerned, but if you are not as brave as my husband, I would recommend having a couple of people to help you so that you can have two people on each side on a ladder and then you can flip it over and have those two people carry it down their ladders. Unfortunately, we don't have any extra people, so here we go. exactly like we planned. Highly recommend having a couple people here to help you. It would be much easier. Anyway, now we got to clean off the roof because we certainly don't want anything preventing us from having a watertight seal between the new air conditioner and the aluminum of the Airstream. So we're going to clean off the roof, get all the caulk off, get all the debris off, make sure we've got a nice smooth surface, check out the interior one more time, and then we will get the new unit mounted. Before we go too far, I want to check the size of this opening to make sure the new unit's going to fit in there. Most of them are about 14 inches. Looks like we've got closer to 15 inches here, 14 and a half that way, and 14 and three quarters that way. So let's go make sure the new unit is going to be the same size. Another little tip about Dometic is they don't have very good user's manuals. And it doesn't come with a very good user's manual. And I don't feel like they have amazing customer service, unfortunately. So keep that in mind. If that's a big deal to you, you might want to look at a different brand. Typically, the interior piece and the unit itself are sold separately. So just because you buy the unit doesn't mean that you've bought the interior finished piece that you need. So be sure when you're pricing it out that you remember to include that piece when you place your order. All right, what you doing? Uh, just Put in this bracket here because there's not a whole lot of support up front here. So I'm going to screw that through with the into the air conditioner itself, which is going to the old air conditioner was way heavier and was pushing down on this way more. But I put this in to keep this from sagging down and water collecting in here. So I drilled holes through it and I'll hold it up by the air conditioner itself. But basically, it's just to keep this form in place. It is a lot later in the day. This has taken a while, um, mostly because we had to run to the Home Depot, of course, you always do, um, and because we decided we wanted to strengthen the frame a little bit more. So that took a little while. We took a break for dinner, and now we're back at it. We're getting ready to hoist it up on the airship. go inside while he stays up top and help him line it up over the hole. Putting on the piece that actually came with the inside plastic finished piece. So this piece did not come with the air conditioner. This came with the finished piece. Don't worry, it will be extra hot so you guys get good sun quality. So he's stuffing away the old thermostat wires. We're not going to have a thermostat here. I think we'll need it. So we're not going to need those wires, so that's what he's getting rid of. This is the piece that also attaches the actual air conditioner to the skins and sandwiches it all together to the airstream. And another reason that we had to modify and add some bracketing 
is because, you know, obviously Dometic doesn't just make this air conditioner for Airstreams, which are curved. So a lot of times these are going on regular flat. What do we like to call them, babe? SOBs. SOBs, some other brand. No offense to you, SOB owner. And the air conditioner tucked in is the wiring harness, which he's going to pull down. And that then attaches up here on the top side. Also came with a wire clamp. You want to put this in here, and that way it holds the uh, Airstream's wire to the unit. So it's not wiggling around and cutting the wire and able to pull loose. And this is all 120? Yep, 120. the 120 volt back in the back of the camper which goes to the breaker panel and the air conditioner. We just discovered that they send you these flaps and they don't put them on the unit and that's because you'll see right up here that that's where you get the screw holes to attach it to the skin. So that's why they're sending you the flaps separately, so you do actually pop the front and back flap on afterwards. Alright, so that's it. Air conditioner installed. Sorry about the crappy lighting here at the end, but obviously it got too dark. Please let us know if you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer them. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, please do that. We'll be continuing to upload more videos. Have a great day.